children in Colorado with a suspected killer. And the movie massacre, James Holmes, faces a judge later this morning, learning the charges against him for the first time. Expected to be hit with 12 counts of murder, but there could be dozens more. We await that. Good morning, everybody. Hope you had a good weekend. I'm Bill Hemmer, live here in America's Newsroom. And Martha has some vacation. Yeah, How are you doing, Heather? Her, but lucky me, because I'm morning. here filling in for Martha. I'm Heather Childers. Now, today's hearing, it will be closed to cameras. That's because of a request from the defense. Now, last week, we had a camera in the courtroom. This week, not. Many questions remain about the shooter's odd behavior in court and the legal strategy on both sides. Alicia Cunha leads our coverage. She's in Centennial, Colorado. What do we expect this morning, Alicia? Hi, Bill. It's going to be a busy day in court today. Uh, James Holmes will most likely hear the charges against him. However, the defense does have the right to waive the reading of those charges out loud in court. Now, beyond the expectation of those 12 first-degree murder charges, other charges could range in the hundreds. Holmes is not expected to enter a plea today. In fact, he does not have to speak at all. He will, however, need to acknowledge that he understands the charges against him. There has been a lot of discussion in the legal community about Holmes' possible defense as well. Take a listen. I expect they will pursue insanity. There is no other defense. It's not a whodunit. It was clearly premeditated. Once they raise insanity, the prosecution has to disprove it beyond a reasonable doubt, and that could be challenging. There is a 13th victim that has died. Ashley Moser miscarried the baby she was carrying at the time of the shooting. That does not, however, add an additional first-degree murder charge to the DA's list because the law in Colorado does not allow it. Ashley Moser is also the mother of Veronica Moser, the youngest victim who died in the shooting. She was just six years old. Bill, back to you. There are a few ma other matters the judge will address today. Tell us about that. Yeah. Judge William Sylvester will also address some motions, motions by the defense as well as by the media. Twenty media organizations, including Fox News, are requesting that records relating to the case be unsealed, arguing that the public has a legitimate interest in knowing what actions were taken by multiple officials in the case, including information relating to Dr. Lynn Fenton. She's a psychiatrist at the University of Colorado Medical Center who, according to court documents, was treating homes and to whom he sent a package. Fox and other news outlets reported that that package contained a notebook in which Holmes reportedly detailed killings. Now, the defense has filed a motion requesting that that package be turned over immediately.